How's it going guys? We are back at it again. That was a fast matchmaking. And we are back at it again in our Expedition gameplay. We are rocking a Heimerdinger deck mixed with a Karma deck. We're all about the spells. We're all about the, the turrets. And we're all about the wins. And hopefully uh, we play well enough to potentially get seven wins in a row in Expedition. I'm absolutely decimating people with this deck right now. Um, so primarily the basis of any Heimerdinger oriented deck is very, very spell heavy. The more spells you have, the more turrets you have. The more turrets you have, the more damage you do. Bada bing, bada boom. So it's as simple as that. Um, whenever I was choosing um, the different selections of my expedition, um, I made it primarily based around around spells with a little bit of uh, heavy late game uh, damage, late game kind of champion. So a lot of like six, seven, eight uh, orientated um, follower followers. So. Uh, we'll see how we do. Again, we are rocking Karma with Heimerdinger. Karma and Heimerdinger are potentially, in my eyes, the best synergy in the game. Karma gives you free spells. And every time you use a spell, Heimerdinger gets a turret. So you're going to be decimating them with a spell, which is potentially high cost. And in turn, getting a turret um, down as well. Costing you zero mana that round. Not to mention whatever else you play with your mana in that round. So Heimerdinger for me, guys, is so good. But so bad at the same time. He's so weak. As in, if you fight with him, if he gets attacked, he can get removed from the game with a click of a button with the spells. Uh, but he can snowball really, really fast. Like, he is a very high-cost unit. But what he does is very strong. So I can kind of understand making him quite weak. But uh, I feel like he's, he's a little bit too weak. A little bit too weak. Um, just because there's a lot, of, a lot of spells which do three damage. Especially uh, mid, mid to early game, actually. So we're going to find, since this guy's playing like a Noxus heavy deck, he's going to be playing very aggressive very early. So for example, he just did 7 damage to my Nexus with only having uh, three, 3 mana at the minute. So that's, that's this. There we go. We got our boy. We got our boy, right? Donger's here. We can play him um, next round. Stay safe. So the premise is we're going to play Heimer next round. And then we are going to potentially uh, next round use our 4 spell. Clear won't do a good amount of damage to the field and then get a four cost, potentially four cost turret for free. So I still think Heimer's far too weak though. We ride for Noxus. Also, dudes, comment below uh if you if you think Heimerdinger is a strong champion. Obviously, I'm a Heimerdinger main on my main channel, on my uh Reason Games channel, if you haven't already, guys. Uh check out Reason Games uh on the in the description but yeah it, it's uh it's the main kind of league of legends channel so i'm a heimerdinger one trick so of course i'm going to be a heimerdinger main when it comes to legends of runeterra as well anything which has our boy we gotta we gotta rock him guys we gotta rock him oh yeah right we got get excited get excited is is one of my favorite cards uh you discard something you instantly do three damage to anything, to anything, Nexus, Champion, Follower, whatever it may be. Having this 4-3 down as well is really good for me because it has Elusiveness. I don't think anything in his deck could potentially have Elusiveness. The only way he's going to remove this card from the field is with a spell. So that's good to kind of take note of. One thing is I need to block a lot of his damage early game because he does have potentially next round he can do 12 damage. Oh lord, he can do... He can do all the damage this round. Ride for Noxus. Come on, boys. Um, what way do we play this? We've got six mana, potentially. We could use him to block the 4-3. Right, this spell will get rid of his, get rid of his barrier. Is five two is gonna go is five three is gonna go down to five two? Hmm. This block is You call that sneaky. I sort of think is it better to block his eight one? His eight one's gonna get instantly taken out of the game. Or it would have been better to block his four three. I think I just wanna get rid of this eight one instantaneously because of the threat that it holds. I could have blocked the 4-3 and then brought mine down to 
one or one four or four one, yeah. But I right, play Heimer. Or maybe we'll play him. The only, the only thing is we can play Heimer this round, but we don't have any spells to back up the use of him. So it's maybe better actually using the spells defensively next round rather than aggressively, because you don't know what he has to counter them with anyway. So um yeah, you can either play play this in, in two different ways. You can play Heimer, then you can instantly play a spell that you might have had down. You know, I could have maybe played my my three cost, got my mana full again and on whatever. Um but really my my flashy brilliance. But realistically Playing it the way I played it's probably the safer bet. Is he might play something? Five four. Oh, we need to get rid of his five four. His five four is gonna instantly attack my Heimer. We got another one though. All right, he's gonna instantly use his challenger to drag my Heimer into his attack field. So we need to try and be smart with what we do in relation to our spells here. So. Hmm. We could just get excited to instantly get rid of his 3-3. And then... What's he going to play here? Attack formation. What's his sneaky man up to? Oh, there we go. We knew he was going to do that. Sun an enemy, give all allies Ready plus two all. this round. Okay. Hmm. Well, if he stuns Heimer, he's going to knock him back. He, he just screwed up. He's going to stun Heimer. Heimer's going to come back onto my... He's going to come off the attacking field. Then what's going to happen is... Heimer's going to be safe. And I'm going to get the, the spell usage off here, I think. Dimensions don't determine themselves. Alright, we got a turret. Because we obviously we use our three spell. Gonna get another turret. Try to use as many spells as possible while Heimer is on the field. Could be it. Let's see what he does. I'm pretty sure the way stun works, though. I haven't really encountered many stun deck shit, but I'm pretty sure it knocks him back off of the field. I don't know if he, he's going to be aware of this. I don't know. Oh, boys. I have three Heimers in my deck, and I get three Heimers in my hand. There we go. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Guys, there we go. He, he did exactly what I thought he was going to do. Oh, let's get that turret. Let's raise the turrets, boys. Let's raise them, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Thing is, even if he kills Heimer next round again, I'm gonna I I have two I have two in my hand. I have two Heimers in my hand. Massive. <clears throat> what do you want? And this is the snowball potential which Heimerdinger has as a uh, as a card, guys. Uh, that one. So I got four four things on the board from literally just one engage, one round. This is huge. Boom. Have a team of stream, dude. Did we do it? Did we just go for the uh, Heimerdinger's Progress Day and get a uh, an eight cost turret in the board? Dude, we're doing it. We're doing it. Here we go. Oh, gee, we got a T hex, boys. We got a T hex. Let's go, dude. We reason them dong. Right. You can see how I uh, one bad move. In Legends of Runeterra can completely turn the tide of a game.
I'm com it can completely just turn the tide. That's why it's not like League of Legends where it's like Surrender 15. If you know you have like a Dark Magician hiding in your deck, which you can just turn around the tide of a team fight. He's going to attack my idiot with his 6-5. Oh, he can't attack any of my 3-1s. Uh, he, he might save his 6-5. I will hold the line. Real tough, aren't you? Real tough, aren't you? He's going to save his 5 2 for whenever he attacks because he still has that challenger to choose who, who he fights. So he's probably going to try and kill Heimer this round. His 5 2 is going to drag Heimer off, but I still have Heimerdinger's progress day in my hand. Which will turn back into a Heimerdinger, even whenever mine mine dies on the field, which is good. And I also have Deny. Deny is so strong, guys. Deny is unbelievable. Counter, it counter spells anything he throws at me, so. Innovation must begin somewhere. But as you can see, because Heimerdinger's leveled up, even his one cost, uh, even his one cost spells, or when you use a one cost spell, it should give you a 1 1 turret. You now I don't get a 1 1 turret, you get a 1 2 turret. Which has challenger on it. I'm gonna what we got another hot what? We got another progress day. Holy balls. Alright. That's right, because it shovels Heimerdinger back in the deck. I just wanna say I only have three guys, I only have three Heimerdingers. And uh we've had technically four so far. Which is unbelievable. It's dangerous out there. Take this. It's gonna be interesting what way he plays this. Still so much to learn. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna drag my Heimer. He's bounty. He's bounty. Oh, dude. Oh, he 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 dragged my eight five. Okay, that makes sense. Um, I can't tank any damage. He attacks me once. One, two, three. If he attacks me once, I'm done. In fact, I'm, I'm, is this over? One, two, three, four. Uh, no, we should be sweet. We'll, we can block his 2-2 two, two with my hammer. We'll block his 2-2 two, two with my hammer. We'll block his 5-1 with my 1-1. One, one. It's going to be tight. Anticipated outcome. Main thing is Heimerdinger survives this. Thing is, his entire hand has been played. All right, if we wipe the board, if we bring him down to quite weak, we can snowball with this. And um, yeah, like I have a six, six, a seven, and eight. I I have pretty much anything I need. I need the tool. I have everything I need at my disposal in my hand. There we go. Right, we're going to use deny. We're also going to get another turret in our hand. I don't know if I'll be able to play it. Wait, what? That's a 3-6? Holy crap. Nice. Alright. Are we, we are able to play it? Holy crap. Are we able to play our Heimerdinger's Progress Day as well? Oh my god, dude. Holy shit. What are, what are we about to pick? Oh my god, we got Karma. A 9-9 T-Hex. Oh, oh, boy. We got a 9-9 T-Hex. Going good. Oh, and Karma, who's enlightened. Heart and mind as one. This is about to bit this is about to get mantle. This is about to get mantle. Alright. A two two three two nine nine. So enlightened karma guys, if you're new to Legends of Rinter, you don't really know what she does. Um she makes two spells for free. The Vanguard stand in Literally the two spells for free, which is naughty. Say the least. We will not stand by. 
Yeah, we, we're... I was about to play that maybe a little bit badly. The whole thing is we don't want Karma to die now that she's been instantly enlightened. Enlightened. We want to get... Oh, that's right. She... She doubles the spell you use? That's right. How can I be... How can I be... That's right. Doubles the spell you use. So I just got... I just got two five fives. Not to mention... Two free... Six two, Heimerdinger, turrets. Oh my God, guys! Heimerdinger and Karma are unbelievable. If it gets late game and Karma's enlightened, holy crap! Should be able to just end this here. I play Karma just so they would instantly block something. Or something has to block our 9-9. I will end this here. We want to block our 9-9. If he blocks my 3 tier 5-5 five five with his 6 tier, he has to do it or the game's over. No Alright, so this is good. You. That means he's going to literally just have a 5-1. Oh, Brilliant. Alright, we yielded karma there. But that's fine. That, that's what we wanted. We wanted to force him to clear his board. Alright. There's nothing he can do. We're in such a strong... Thing is, it's Legends of Runeterra and anything can happen, guys. He could have, like, some kind of crazy board wipe card. I don't know. I can just turn the tables and I'm back to square one again. It's happened before. Somebody played uh, She Who Wanders and Ruination. I played I played against a dude who played Ruination and instantly turned the fight around. Next game, he played the card uh, She Who Wanders, which removes everybody from the board who has like three or four less uh, par or, or hell. I can't even, even remember. Um, but all my followers had like four health and they got instantly decimated, so... He can't, he can't win. Next round, he's going, he, he, he won't even attack this round. He's, he won't attack this round. Sure, he's going to wait till next round. Time. Hoping that he draws some kind of magic. I don't even know what he has in his deck, but. I have Heimerdinger's Progress Day, so I can play another 9-9 T-Hex if I really wanted to. Um, what do we need to? I'm just, I'm literally just playing everything right now. They just get it out of my out of my hand. I have so many cards in my hand. Hey, an eight. There we go. Another five two turret. Jeez, I have so many turrets. I can't even. I can't even use them. What's amazing as well is those six two turrets. Uh, they have quick attack. So even if he was to try and block with them, it's a it's a free attack. You know. This is unbelievable. What do you want? It's game on another Heimerdinger dude. What the fuck is going on? Oh jeez. GG what play dude. So yeah, um, in all seriousness, Heimerdinger is a really, really strong card when used with a very, very spell-heavy deck. Um, spell-heavy deck is obviously works really, really well in unison, unison with Karma because obviously Karma gives you spells. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a match made in heaven. I was lucky enough that uh, I was able to get both in my expedition deck, which is hard to do sometimes. But if you can, pick them. Pick them. Don't pick something random with Heimer like Draven and Heimer. You know, go for the Karma. Um, unbelievable, guys. Uh, if you guys are new here, please make sure that you have subscribed and uh, turned the notifications on. License of Runeterra is out very, very soon. And I want you guys to uh, be up to date with all the content that I bring to you on a, 
on a pretty regular basis, guys. And um, yeah, comment below. Let me know how you guys are feeling Legends of Runeterra. If you guys have had the uh, honor of playing it so far. And uh, comment below if you think Heimerdinger is strong. But on to the next time, bros. Take it easy. Peace out and good luck on the Rift. Or whatever it is called in Legends of Runeterra. Coming waves across the shore Oh, maybe you could fly my kite, babe Maybe you could fly my kite, babe I can hear your laughter Coming waves across the 